Hello, I am Dr. Aparna Santhanam. I am a consultant dermatologist at PD Hinduja Hospital Mahim and today I am going to be talking to you about superficial fungal infections. Now the very fact that it has the word superficial meaning it's on the surface of the skin. Now if it is so superficial why am I talking to you about it today? Because it is a very big public health problem especially in a country like India which is hot, humid and tropical. These infections tend to come anywhere on any surface of the body starting from the head up to the toes and they can also affect any age group starting from tiny babies to absolutely our senior citizens and elderly. And depending on which part of the body they come they have different names. You've got the common one called dermatophytes which can come everywhere on the body. They come as small circular round patches what we call as tenia. When it comes on the scalp we call it tenia capitis. When it comes on the body we call it tenia corporis. In the private parts, it's known as tenia cruris. It can also affect the hands and feet called tenia manum and tenia pedis. It can even affect our fungal nail infections. So basically it can affect any part of the body. But apart from tenia, we've also got something called candida, which especially tends to come in the oral cavity as white patches or ulcerations. Some of you may have noticed that after COVID, you're more prone to getting these infections. It also tends to come in the private parts and especially in those who are struggling with other diseases, you may be immunocompromised because you've had some other infection like COVID or like jaundice or typhoid and after these fungal infections can start multiplying. And you've got a third fungal infection called malassezia, which is the main fungus which multiplies on the scalp, worsening our dandruff, sometimes causing severe itchy sticky dandruff. And it also causes white patches on the body which are called as pityriasis versicolor. The reason you need to recognize all of these as infections is because they all need a dermatologist intervention. Most people assume when they get something on their skin, they can either just apply some home remedy or they can talk to their local friends, pick up something from the counter in a pharmaceutical shop. They can just apply that and it's going to vanish. But no, it's not going to vanish. Once this fungus enters your body, it does not go very easily. In fact, I have seen situations where I've treated a patient for three weeks. They come back and the fungus is gone. And after three months, they're back again and the fungus is back on their skin. This is because all of these tend to exist quite happily on our skin and when the conditions are right which is either our immunity is low or the skin is very moist in certain areas they tend to start multiplying. Also the danger of using these over the counter medications many of them have irritant substances like salicylic acid so I've seen many patients who get a ringworm or a tenia they tend to put this over the counter medication it becomes very red very angry and gets a second infection. Therefore, please understand any itchy rash anywhere in the body, any white patches that you may see on your back or on your chest, any itching on the scalp, do recognize that you've got a superficial fungal infection. Immediately go to a dermatologist who can diagnose it and treat it appropriately for you for the appropriate length of time so it completely gets eradicated from your body.